At Chiswa Primary School in Nakawa Division, parents flock to the school as early as 8 a.m. Some with their children and others alone. They all sit patiently waiting for their turn to speak to the head teacher of the school. Their purpose, at least according to this parent, Jacqueline Mbori, is to secure vacancies for their children. Mbori tells us that her child's former private school failed to reopen, leaving her stranded. They could not see for an another alternative of receiving money to pay the teachers. So they decided to change the school to a poultry. And that is what they are doing currently. At her wit's end, Mbori decided to turn to a government-aided school. So when I looked for other alternative, I decided to choose Kiswa because it has been formerly my good school. And I know even its performance is very good. Mbori is not alone in this dilemma. I'm a summer of private. Nagoke Gambe said every single got Karu Vizate Nagamu or Wako Vidione at Ukao. Nampeo says this move will give her assurance that her child's learning will not be disrupted. However, the hopes of Nampeo and Mbori securing vacancies at Chiswa Primary School still hang in balance as the school has almost reached its full capacity, especially when one considers the need for social distancing. We don't know now how it will be. We so far have so far registered 1,200 children and every day we register like 70, 80, 60, it depends. Namaganda adds that the school's current infrastructure cannot handle this influx. And the school is about to get full because of the infrastructure. We don't have very many classrooms, so when a class is full, we tell them to look for another school nearby. Like Namaganda, Jen Chakwa, the head teacher of Chitante Primary School, is facing a similar situation. On Monday, Chakwa told us how she was handling a rising number of parents seeking admission in her school. The numbers are really big. We are overwhelmed by the numbers. They are still bringing in new pupils, but we are telling them we are full. They should try neighboring schools. With parents now turning to government-aided schools, the Ministry of Education is also preparing to capitalize on this move by improving on the state of its schools. We are going to renovate, we are going to revamp many of these bad-looking schools. We are going to paint, facelift, so that when somebody comes to school, he feels it should come back the next day. The prolonged closure of schools in the country has created uncertainty for many learners, with some institutions failing to reopen, while some parents have also found themselves unable to financially support their children's education. It's now up to government through its programs as well as learning institutions to offer a lifeline to the affected learners. Joyce Nakatong, NTV Weekend Edition. Yeah. Vamos lá, vamos